I'm going to explain what to expect when you're having thyroid surgery. If you're having total thyroidectomy or removal of the whole gland, you'll come into hospital on the day of your surgery and have a full general anaesthetic. The surgery can take between two and five hours, depending on how large the gland is and how complex the disease is. You'll stay in hospital for up to four days after surgery. While you're recovering, the nurses and doctors will be monitoring for any bleeding or swelling around the wound, any change in voice or swallowing, and your calcium levels. The thyroid gland has a lot of blood vessels and during surgery all of these blood vessels are sealed and divided to allow me to remove the gland. It's possible for one of these blood vessels to reopen in the first day after surgery. This can cause bleeding into the wound, pressure on the windpipe and cause trouble breathing. It's important you're aware of this so that if you feel that your neck is swelling or that you're having any trouble breathing or any pressure in the neck, you let the nurse know as soon as possible. During your surgery, we use a nerve monitoring device to reduce the risk of damaging the nerves to the voice box. Nerve damage can be temporary or permanent. Temporary nerve damage lasts for around six to 12 weeks. If the nerves on one side of the neck are damaged, it results in a weaker voice or a hoarse voice. If both nerves are damaged, very rarely this can result in problems breathing and you may need to have a breathing tube inserted through the skin of the neck. Next to the thyroid gland, there are four parathyroid glands. They make a hormone that helps regulate the calcium balance in the blood. Healthy calcium levels are necessary for your brain, heart and muscles to work well. After total thyroidectomy, it's possible for these glands to be temporarily or permanently damaged and this can result in a drop in the calcium levels in your blood. After surgery, you'll have a blood test twice a day to monitor the calcium levels. If your hormone and calcium levels are normal after two days, you'll be able to go home. Changing calcium can be temporary or can be permanent. Permanent change in calcium is really uncommon. The thyroid gland makes thyroid hormone. This hormone is essential for every part of your body to work well. When we remove the whole gland, or total thyroidectomy, you will need to take a thyroid hormone tablet every day for the rest of your life. This is easy to do and has no side effects. We check your thyroid hormone levels by a blood test six weeks after surgery, and then every few months until the levels are stable, and then every year. During your surgery, we'll take care to ensure that there's padding to prevent pressure areas, and you'll have white stockings and compressors on your legs to prevent blood clots. If you'd like more information, please ask me, my practice nurse, your endocrinologist or hormone specialist, or look at our website.